Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15 and today I'm going to be telling you about a great presentation tool called Buncee. Buncee is a great tool for you to be able to use to create presentations, digital stories, and all different types of things that you can create with your students as well as presentations for yourself in your classes, professional development, and more. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, you're going to look up here in the upper left-hand corner. You're going to be at edu.buncee.com. And if you go over to the right-hand corner, you're going to click on sign up. If you don't already have an account, you can quickly sign up. Easy to do. You will notice that this is what we call a freemium. You can have an individual account. You can also do classroom, classroom light. You can also go down and find out more about student prices, teacher prices, custom pricing, and things like that. So once you are in here, you will notice that you have all of your accounts or your Buncee your presentations that you have already, they call them Buncees, that you have already created over here to the side. You will notice one I have already created, massive hit if you take a close look. And over here on the left side, you will see where you can create a new Buncee. Very easy. You just click the plus button for a new Buncee and up it comes. Over here on the left side, you have viewing, closing when you're ready to go. If you've ever used Haiku Deck, very similar to that layout. And so you've got, this is your whole editing section, very slidish, you'll notice those. And when you're ready to create a new slide, you've got your first slide, and then when you're ready for new ones, you add them right in here. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click to change your background. Cause right now it's kind of boring, kind of dull, nothing there. And so you have the option to add in colors, you can put in websites, you can upload your own background, or you can choose from all of the background templates that they have here, or you can search amongst the ones that they already have. They have a very nice selection of backgrounds, and I do mean a lot of things that you can use. I'm gonna use the typewriter day, today. I haven't used this. You can apply it to just that slide. So yes, you can mix up your templates or you can apply to all. I'm going to be lazy today just for the point of example and use all. So from there, you can add your first item and that goes for any item that you would like to add in. So when you click on add your first item, you at that point can add in text, animation, YouTube videos, web images. You can upload your own images. You can also add in your own files. Vimeo videos, stickers, and when you click on stickers, you'll see you have all different types of stickers that you can use. You can also uh, search the stickers, things like that. If you click here and look for animation, these are gonna give you all the different animation, things that move. And if you click and play, it'll actually show you what the animated character does, for example. You can also do messages, drawings, all those types of things. So let's go ahead and say that I want to create my own presentation. I'm going to be doing one for a keynote for I teach is a presentation I'm about to do. And then I just grab that. I did not spell keynote right. Excuse me. Let me fix that. And when you have that, you'll notice down here at the bottom, I can increase my text size. I can change the color. I can align it in the center. I can move it to the front, to the back, very PowerPoint-ish. I can change my fonts. I can also embed a link audio. I can duplicate this or I can just delete it if I don't like it. I can also bold it. I can do anything that I wish. I can make this much bigger and then I can move it around to wherever I want. And then from there, I just add in more slides. I can add in images from online. I can add in screenshots. I can add in pretty much anything I want. Now, if I wanted more items on the screen, all I have to do is click to add in a new item. So let's say that for some odd reason, I might want to have a, an animal, a creature on my, maybe I want a spider. I don't know. I'm just adding something in. Give them to me. There we go. And click add. And then he's going to be added onto my screen. There he is. He's right up there. Right now he's kind of small. So I'm going to stretch him out, make him bigger. And there you have it. So you can add as many different characters onto your screen. Uh, so if you look at examples of Buncee, you're going to notice that you can have text, videos, images, stickers, characters, all different types of things. If you do not like it, you can delete it. 
you can, and it will ask you, are you sure you want to delete that item? I'll take him off because there's really no reason for me to have that there. Just like our original ideas with PowerPoint and all presentations, it will of course depend on you, how many things you would like to have on your slides, how many items you would like to feature from slide to slide, from piece to piece you know, each item to item that you would like to have up here, that is totally up to you. I'm not going to go into an entire lecture about how to create good slides and good PowerPoints and how to create good buncees, but it is up to you what you would like to have your slides look like. This is a very easy tool for students to use because all they have to do is hit the plus button and then load things in. So they can have as many things on there as they would like, and more than likely they will load it up. Have fun. And remember, you can always upload your own and you can always put in your own files. So you can have student work up there. You can have your own files. It's excellent for professional development and you can use it however you would like. So I hope you enjoy Buncee. Very easy to use, very quick tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. More videos coming soon to Tech 15. Thank you so much. Have a great day.